The undefeated Broncos will host the undefeated Packers on Sunday night. It will be just the fourth matchup of 6-0 teams in NFL history in the first since 2007 when the Patriots beat Peyton Manning and the Colts. Pierre Garçon still here with us. But I want Stephen A to weigh in here first. Stephen A, Packers, Broncos, who gets handed their first loss? Well, I'm going to roll with the Packers because of that bad man that is Aaron Rodgers, the same guy who's struggling this year, no doubt, but is completing 68% of his passes, has a, a, a quarterback rating of 115, has a QBR of 80, has thrown 15 touchdowns, just two interceptions, despite not having Jordy Nelson, despite Randall Cobb being nicked up, despite implementing Richard Rodgers into the tight end spot and still struggling to develop some degree of continuity, not to mention the fact that Eddie Lacy uh, has not been 100% uh, healthy as well. So when you take all of those things into consideration and the fact that the greatness of Ro Aaron Rodgers, albeit not shining as brightly as I'm accustomed to seeing, nevertheless is still effective enough to get them to an undefeated 6-0 and record. Mm -hmm. The same as Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, by the way. I'm going to roll with the Green Bay Packers to win this game, although I know it will be tough, although I know that Denver is the better, more complete team right now, although I know the game is in the Mile High City. Um, I'm still going to roll with the game being tight and somehow, some way, Aaron Rodgers finding a way to pull out this victory. Denver's defense will have something to say about that. Um, uh, skip, refresh my memory. I don't know if DeMarcus Ware is going to play in this game, but I do know that Von Miller is going to so. play. I, th I think he's going to play. I think Von Miller is going to play. I think that Aqib Tlaib and Chris Harris is going to play. That secondary is big to TJ Ward is going to play. I think these brothers are big time. I think this defense is special, but I think that there's a mulligan to throw into the equation, and I think this will be that weekend. I think they lose on a weekend like this. I think they win on a weekend against the Patriots, November 29th. So that's how I'm looking at this right now, and I think that the Green Bay Packers will find a way to squeeze out a victory on the road in the Mile High City this weekend. I'm going with Aaron Rodgers because he's Aaron Rodgers. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, speaking of Aaron Rodgers, help me out here. Just in all objectivity, yes. is it possible that Aaron Rodgers, when the stage is the biggest, is not, not Aaron Rodgers anymore? Is it oh, no. possible oh, that oh, he oh, shrinks? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you implying that Aaron Rodgers shrinks when the lights are bright? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. The he blasphemy. The spotlight. The bla you would say that with a straight face about Aaron Rodgers? Well, I, about a Aaron Rodgers? Completely straight. Straight. Really? Straight faced. Yes, since Ooh. that long ago day that Aaron Rodgers broke through as a road wild card team and won the Super Bowl, he's two and four in the postseason. That's impossible. Two and four for the bad man that is Aaron Rodgers. It's not it's a team I, game. I don't get it's a team it. Game. It's a team game. He needs help. Oh, Look, I think, uh, we oh, got Pierre. Okay. Hey, we got Pierre Garcon in this studio. We all know we're allergic to scrubs. He wouldn't be here if he was a scrub. Let's just call it. <laughs> let's just call it what it is. Pierre Garcon can ball, but guess what? The numbers aren't as pristine as we would like because we have to take into consideration who's been throwing him the football for the last couple of years. We have to take into consideration what his offensive line has looked like. We have to take into consideration what the coaching has been like the defense etc there's a lot of issues going on in the nation's capital it's getting better but we all know what was going on last year and the year before every it's a team game it ain't Aaron Rodgers fault that the Green Bay Packers have been struggling a matter of fact he's the only reason they've been relevant oh okay so help me out here Tom Brady has little to no offensive line oh, stop he's it he's throwing as his his best wide out is Julian Edelman a former college quarterback so Rob has nothing to do with it. So Rob, so Rob Gronkowski okay, has, has nothing I mean, to do with it. He has nothing to do with it. We're talking about I'm wide, the best tight end in football, a future Hall of Fame wide if he keeps receivers. playing like that. But the point is, having a tight end, Pierre Garçon, educate me, help me out here. I, I, I'm just saying, I don't play football. I don't know. I'll defer to you. Yeah. Having a tight end mm -hmm. like Rob Gronkowski, how much better would that make a wide receiver? Oh, that makes it a lot better because you have to account for Rob Gronkowski. Down Thank you very field. much. Thank you very much. That's all I'm saying, okay. That's all I'm saying. W wait a second. Pierre Garçon, wh who's better, <laughs> you or Julian Edelman? Better receiver. I'll take you myself. Julian I'll Edelman. take myself. I want to know. Of course. Of course I'll take oh, myself. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Everybody would because <laughs> Julian Edelman, to most people, is just another guy. And he's now a superstar thanks to Tom Brady, who makes everybody better. All of a sudden, off the scrap, you he hasn't played ashamed. for almost two years. Dion Lewis. Well, where did he come from? He, he's another Brady product. They're all Brady products. Danny Amendola, yeah. Brady product. Yeah. Brandon LaFell, 
uh, Brady product. Okay. No, so no Belichick and Josh McDaniels have nothing to do with it. Okay. Okay. It's all about number 12. Really? Trust okay. me. Trust okay. me, it is. Okay, right. now back, back to the great Aaron Rodgers, who in six games has only one 300-yard passing game this whole year. Mid so shells. I think we could agree he's, he's having a little bit of an off year, even though off the scrap heap, they, they pick back up James Jones, who leads the NFL in touchdown receptions. So that's pretty good. He's at least got somebody that he's comfortable with who used to be a big star, obviously, in Green Bay. Despite all that, let's get to the real story of Sunday night. It's Peyton Manning. I am sick and tired of all the criticism, all the writing off of Peyton Manning. He is not nearly as bad as people are making him out to be. Every time that team has needed a big throw, Peyton has made that throw. That's why they are 6-0, even though he's, what, seven touchdowns to 10 interceptions with a 46 QBR that ranks 25th in the league. I don't care about Wait. any of those numbers except for the 6 and 0. Oh. Trust me, on the big stage Sunday night football, Peyton Manning always flourishes. He will flourish again. They will win this game, a defensive battle so, between the number one defense from Green Bay, number two from Denver. Mm. I'm going to say Peyton wins this game 20-17. So, to 17. Okay, so Peyton Manning can throw 10 interceptions. Peyton Manning can have a QBR of 46. Peyton Manning can be undefeated because he's primarily a product of a defense that has proven thus far anyway oh, to be elite. But when it comes to Aaron Rodgers, everything falls on his shoulders. It can't be the same. Wait. Pierre Garçon, chime in. Go Wait. ahead, Pierre, because he hasn't spoken yet. No, Skip. no, no. No, Go I got to say, I got to say this. <laughs> Green Bay. Green Bay has the number one ranked scoring defense in the whole league. Yeah, and look at who they Stop play. Stop it. And look at who they play. Oh, Don't oh, get me started. Now, look at who they Don't play. Don't get me started. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pierre. Go ahead, yeah, Pierre. I um, can't listen to his dribble right now. <laughs> Go ahead, man. To answer one of the questions, I don't think Aaron Rodgers shy away when the lights are on. I think he plays well, but, um, you know, going against Peyton Manning Sunday night, in Denver against that great defense, it is going to be tough, especially with the receivers Aaron Rodgers sure, have. I'll admit that. You know, I'll admit that. Quarterbacks do make the receivers, but Aaron Rodgers haven't had time to, you know, adjust to the guys that, you know, with the, dealing with the injury of Jordy Nelson. And, um, you know, they added James Jones, which has played very well for them. But, you know, it's different Jordy Nelson and James Jones. But um, it's hard to go against the Broncos at home against that defense. Their defensive line is amazing. Von Miller's getting out the quarterback. DeMarcus Ware is getting out the quarterback. Tlaib is taking a um, pick six to the house. T.J. Ward is playing well. Harris is playing well. It's very hard, you know, to play well against that defense. And you know Aaron Rodgers is going to throw the ball. So it's definitely, definitely tough for the Packers to go into Denver Sunday night when, you know, that stadium is going to be loud and happy to, you know, be loud on defense for to make it harder for Aaron Rodgers. It's definitely going to be tough. And we know Peyton is going to make plays if you give him the defense, if the Broncos defense give him, a lot of opportunities. At some point, he's going to break their will. You know, those receivers are going to go off. Demarius Thomas and um, Emmanuel Sanders are going to make their plays. Let me put you on the spot, Pierre. Yes, sir. I'm not going to ask you about your quarterback because we all know <laughs> your the, the, the obligatory issue. You got to say, Kirk Cousins. Forget Kirk Cousins. For a second. Forget anybody on the Redskins. Yes, I'm not sir. talking about anybody on the Redskins. Mm -hmm. If you could have one guy throwing you the football outside of the quarterbacks that you have, who would it be? One guy to throw me to pass. To I'll throw you all day long. All day I'm, long. I'm going with Aaron Rodgers. I love the way he throws. I love the way he plays. I love the way he sits in the pocket. He's always looking to throw. He's not looking to run it. But, you know, it's it's Aaron Rodgers has that confidence in his arm, has that confidence to throw it. 90 yards has that confidence to throw it, you know, to dip dip and dunk it down the field. Preach. Aaron Rodgers is probably Preach. the best passer in the league. <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's just special. Wait, time, you know, out. He, time out. It's time out. Go ahead, Wait a second. Go ahead, Skip. Stephen A. Smith just succeeded in changing the subject after Pierre <laughs> actually went with my pick. He went with Denver to beat Green Bay. Yes, I'm fine with that. Beat Green Bay. Pierre, I'm fine with wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. No, stop it. Did I just hear Pierre say that Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom Brady? Is that what you just said? Aaron Rodgers throws the ball better than Tom Brady, the best passer in the league. Tom Brady makes plays, oh, Tom Brady wow. wins the game, but yes, Aaron Rodgers is the best thrower in the league. Whoa, 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 yes. wait, 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 wait. You have my Pierre, vote. Who's you your... got <laughs> my vote, wait, Pierre. Stop it. Stop it. Who is your next opponent? <laughs> New England Patriots. We're looking forward to it. Oh! <laughs> looking oh. forward to it. What they got to do wait with a second. What they got to do with it? They just went up on the bulletin board. 
that it went up on the bulletin board. You just provoked Psycho Tom. <laughs> You're going to get Psycho Tom right in, right between your eyes. It's all right. Trust we'll, me. We'll this, love to blitz him in. I'm sending Tom Brady after him. watches this but, show. Get, Tom Brady will be all over that but, but, quote. But, 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 Thank get, you very much, Pierre, for saying that, for motivating Psycho but, Tom. But, but, but Skip, Pierre, Pierre, Pierre doesn't play defense, Skip. <laughs> he doesn't play defense. Oh, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. Play, he doesn't he have to worry about it. He plays for the Redskins. Right? He plays for the Redskins. So? Yes. So? So he's just telling Thank the you. truth. He's just telling Appreciate the truth. Appreciate that. I know, the Brian. Truth. Way to go. Looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, no. you better. You got my vote, Pierre. Uh, you got my vote. Yeah. Pierre yeah. Yeah. for the put Senate. Up with every day, Pierre. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with those two. November. I ain't, 8th. I ain't vote for Jay Feely because he loves Skip too much. I'm not voting for Jay. I love you, Jay, but I ain't vote for you because you love Skip too much. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right. Pierre, thank you so much for spending part of your bye week with us. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. November right, 8th in Foxborough. And yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm going, I'm going with the, the Broncos. I think they're going to miss Jordy in this one. That was a good point there.